Hey guys and welcome back to the card review. So we're looking at more of these Burning Abyss cards. So besides their tuner, the Burning Abyss also got two more monsters and then a trap card coming out in the new pack uh, coming out sneak peek this uh well sneak peek and also new pack uh, coming out. Well the sneak peek is what, this Saturday the first? So uh yeah, Burning Abyss, you get some new cards. So, you know, you already got the tuner, you already got your three great monsters, uh, Sir, Graf, and Scum, so, you know, and Dante, so, and Virgil. So, what else could the Burning Abyss possibly get with, you know, compared to those cards? So, today we are looking at, is it, is it pronounced A-Lich? I, I, it looks like A-Lich, like A-Lich, but maybe it's Alich or I don't know. But I, I guess I'm going to just call it A-Lich, um, Malbranch of the Burning Abyss. So, it is, of course, a Dark Fiend effect, level 3, uh, 2,000 attack with 0 defense, so I guess if you want to, you can use Mass Chameleon to bring it back. So, you can go Mass Chameleon, summon this, and go into, like, a Black Rose or a, or a Yazi. You know, Yazi is also coming out. Anyway, it, uh, yeah, 1,200 attack, 0 defense. And uh, let's go ahead and go over to effect and determine whether it uh, will be played or should be played in the Burning of this deck. So, has the same effect as all the Burning Abyss, right? and which I'm terrible at keeping track of. If you control a monster that is not a Burning Abyss monster, destroy this card. I, I fail at doing that constantly. Uh, you can only use one of the flying effects of a Lich, uh, not branch of the Burning Abyss, per turn and only once that turn. So, of course, he has the same Burning Abyss effect. If you control no spells and traps, you can special summon this card from your hand. Alright, surprise, surprise. No, same thing. Same thing as all the rest of them. Alright, so, its own individual effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one face-up monster on the field, negates effect until the end of this turn. That's it? That's it? I'm sorry, that affects the butts. Like, really? Like, for a deck like that runs Dante and Mills, I would rather just use Breakthrough Skill, really. Breakthrough Skill. You know, that's pretty much what it is. You know, you know, and... You send it to, when it's sent to I mean, I guess you can pull it off during your opponent's turn, but, you know, when is it that often that you are going to, uh, you know, send during your opponent's turn, you know? Like, what, you have Dante and you, and you I can't even think, you have, you what, you have Pleiades, because you Astral Force and Pleiades, and this is an attachment. Your opponent summons a monster, tries to activate its effect, you... No, not even try to activate the effect because you would actually miss timing. So it would have to be like your opponent summons a monster, but not an effect that activates when it's summoned. So not like you know a uh, 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 ignition effect. Uh, then you go like please effect detach this bounce something else and then this would it's sent to grave our target so let's say for example bear your opponent summons bear you go effect detach bounce a set card a lich effect negate your uh bear you know to the end of this turn you know but once again i would just rather use breakthrough skill this card seems like breakthrough skill would be a much better card you know um i guess it's like uh your opponent has a uh I'm trying to think hypothetically speaking here uh i don't know i don't know i don't know like i don't know i can't think of anything i can't think of an example because it seems like bring through skill would just be the better card okay you have virgil you use virgil effect you discard this to spin something back and then this would negate a monster in the field a monster effect on the field nothing that virgil wouldn't be able to handle you know unless it's a monster it's like oh well you know, I'm unaffected by card effects, and then you do it that way, and then you negate the effect and then spin it, but, yeah. But no, because this card goes off at resolu after the resolution of Virgil, so that wouldn't work either. You know what? This card is just the butts. This card is the butts. It's not necessary to run. Uh, I say run break to skill. I don't know. No. You know, but, I, you know, once again, I think that it's, I think that it's, I think it's the deck's fault. If Konami knows what they did. They know that the, the the deck burning Abyss are way more powerful than they want that deck the deck to be really you know it's supposed to be just a TCG exclusive deck a little fun deck you know the cards are rare just pick them up you know they're cheap and uh you know just play and have fun with it they didn't expect it to be this strong you know but you know when you create a deck of floaters you know you know that's the one that's how you take a deck that's maybe not as good and maybe bump it up to be much better as if you get it floaters you know especially floaters that get their effects when they're detached you know this deck is what Sangam wish it was getting its effect when it's detached so 
You know, definitely, definitely. I mean, you know, think if the uh, Yang Zings, when they were just sent to the graveyard, they got, a, they got like, a f uh, effects to summon. That would be broke as hell. You know, it'd just be like, Synchro Summon, Summon you, Effect, 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 Summon, Synchro Summon, Effect, you know, so, but it's not. You know, they have to be destroyed. So, uh, yeah, they float, but not as well as Burning Abyss, and definitely Burning Abyss are just a much stronger deck. So uh, I kind of feel like Konami is taking a step back from the deck. Like, we're going to still give you some support, but they're not going to be, you know, Skarm and 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 Graph and Sir potential. Definitely not. Uh, so by this card, it looks like it's it looks like it's rare. It's either rare or secret, but it's probably it does, it's its picture isn't shiny. So I'd say rare, just like the other Burning the Best. So you know, still nothing special. But uh, it's, you know, this card is definitely not as good. Definitely, it's the butts. I wouldn't even run it. I wouldn't even run it. It, it, you have other cards you could you run. If you want to run an effect negation, you know, break your skill. You know, break your skill during your opponent's turn if you activate it, and then break your skill during your turn from the graveyard, you know? So, you know, if your opponent would for, uh, hypothetically say that it's, it's a monster that's unaffected by your opponent's monster effects, and you have uh, um, uh, 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 Virgil on the field, you know? Instead of going, oh, well, Virgil effect, discard a Lich, oh, you're still unaffected because a Lich would go off at the re resolution of a uh, Virgil's effect. You could just go, break your skill, negate, now Virgil, get out of my face, spin. You know, so, uh, nah, I don't see it. I don't see it. You know, you know, and even if you're using Dante and you're detaching and you're, you know, you're milling and, you know, if you have this and you detach it and you mill and you negate, I guess, but if you're if you're lying like, oh my god, I hope that I detach a lich, and I hope, I mean, I hope that I mill, by the three monsters I mill with Dante, I hope one of them is a lich so I can negate, you know, that's luck factor, and you know, don't rely on that. So, I'd say, in my conclusion, a lich is the butts, you don't need to run them, just run right through skill. So tell me what you guys think about a lich in the comment section below. Um, you know, excited to hear what you guys think about this card, and you know, how they're slowly stepping away from burning bits, give me your opinion on that as well. So um, thanks for uh, listening or watching this uh, card review. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next Thursday with another card to look at. It'll probably be the other Burning Abyss monster. Yeah, I forgot his name, but yeah, him. All right, thanks for watching.